Now, if we look at climate change risk, okay, and now we've got to talk to our audience of directors, chairs, executives who are on the call today, how can it impact your organization's strategic plan? We all know from a governance perspective that everyone's got a strategic plan and, and it's the board's role from a governance perspective to make sure what risks are going to impact that plan or impede and what needs to happen from a mitigation point of view. So let's talk about from a not-for-profit sector specific angle let's talk about we've got five of them right now let's talk about the governance risks fee and i've created this little sort of formula the situation what it looks like right now what we've got but then how does it impact what we'd call a traditional governance risk just so we can sort of uh, mold together this contemporary risk issue of climate how it's going to impact other areas of your risk matrix and, and talk through that. And really the energy transitions underway fee, um, how long it finishes, uh, when it finishes, I'll ask Neil about, um, but high energy prices is what everyone's dealing with, including hospitals and aged cares. Exactly, Wes. So what this means at a board level is you've got that traditional risk of worrying nonstop about finance, but guess what? You have to add this to the top of the list is the cost, it, it won't just be to our communities, it will be to those of us who are providers as well. Mm -hmm. The cost of our actual power, all of those resources that enable us to run. And I think also you look at the dedicated service delivery and the capital works programs that would have been planned in that strategic cycle, the growth of the demand for health services, et cetera, mm -hmm. that budget's gonna get chewed up just by increased costs. Neil, um, talking about the time frame of this transition because it it's really ugly and bumpy right now and and no one's ha in Australia is very happy about it from the households to business because it is just growing and growing the energy cost yeah that's a real problem where one of one of many cost of living problems mm -hmm. that we've that we've seen look en energy prices have gone up a, a lot electricity and gas they're also very volatile. They've been jumping around a lot for a lot, and that's going to continue. The one of the clear things that will bring prices down is a transition um, to renewables. As you said, it won't be it won't, won't be smooth. We've got a lot of work to do in a short short space of time. But just about all governments in the state governments in, in in Australia and the national government have got these targets to 2030, 20, 2050, and so forth to reduce emissions to bring in more re renewables. And so there is an acceleration happening. There are things that not-for-profits from small businesses can do to transition to clean energy because there are incentives now being offered by governments. 